how much technology does it take to make the right sandwich at the right time in the right place? Hi, I'm Tanya Hall with ZDNet, and I'm here with Chris Roskowski, who is the Senior Vice President of Marketing and Advertising for Quiznos. Welcome, Chris. Hi, Tanya. So, okay, what is Quiznos? Well, Quiznos is a premier sandwich shop uh, formed over 35 years ago. We uh, have one of the premier toasted sandwiches in America. We're in over 35 countries and uh, obviously North America with uh, a strong showing. So 35 years is, is sort, you know, kind of a nostalgic brand. It's not like you just launched a year or two ago, right in the, in the boom of the digital space. So right. you've, you've probably had to grow a lot, adjust a lot since uh, the onset of technology. What are, what are some of the things that you've done to digitally start transforming your business? Well, I can speak to the fact that I've been here almost 10 years. And in that time, I've seen such a transformation just with, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're selling subs. It's pretty simple, right? Uh, but we're also connected to stores all over the country and uh, have really seen how that affects how we work with our stores as well as uh, consumers and consumer insights have changed dramatically over the last 10 years. Well, one of the things that's happened, right, that, that, is affects every brand, no matter how long you've been around, is the onset of social media and online platforms, whether it's Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. How has connecting with customers through social channels uh, had an impact on Quiznos? Well, not only has it had an impact, Tanya, it's uh, essential to our business. Uh, Consumer insights uh, were always something that you would gather through secondary research or you would do research on your own. Now it's coming at you every day. And uh, through the power of the cloud, you're able to get consumer insights uh, real time. And what we're able to do is use tools that aggregate those thoughts uh, in comments and concerns and trends and able to take that and and put them to action and, and react to those real time. So whether it's monitoring Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, um, there are platforms that allow us to look at all those different engines come together in one place and see where there might be issues, see where there might be trends or things that people are excited about within our brand. Uh, so that within the last 10 years has, has changed dramatically. And even the tools that help aggregate that have changed light, you know, we're light speed over the last few years in regards to uh, what we're able to see and how we're able to react to things real time. When you talk about, you know, managing social platforms, do you do that internally? Do you outsource that? I mean, how do you find that balance of staying in control of that message and staying on brand? Well, with anything, there's there's so much data and there's so many um, feeds into that, that uh, we do have to outsource. We outsource from the standpoint of setting some guidelines up that have some reactions to comments. And then we have different levels of, you know, bumping those up the ladder uh, to awareness levels so customer service can react to things that need to be taken care of as soon as possible. But if someone's just saying, hey, Quiznos, I, I love you. Where can I find a store near you? We're ready to you know, send them a map and uh, pinpoint the closest Quiznos to them and send them to our toasty goods store. Hey, if there's not a Quiznos near you, why don't you order, order a shirt that uh, you know, helps remind you how much you love Quiznos. So there are all kinds of things that we work with uh, some of our partners with to help you know, just touch as many customers as we can, especially coming through the social media space. So you talked about, we've talked about social media, but there's other types of platforms and there's other content creation uh, that can be made. Talk about Toasty TV. Toasty TV is a platform that we launched a few years ago, and the idea was we knew that we needed to reach millennial males. Millennial males are, you know, in the restaurant category, everybody's after them. Everyone's trying to reach the millennial male. And we basically wanted to grow awareness with millennial males, uh, not only near our stores, but even throughout the country, through a way that got them spending time with our brand. And we did that through Toasty TV. And it's a series of digital content pieces that uh, we often, Quiznos has a great, if you're not familiar with our humor, uh, we have, uh, we like to take our food really serious. We don't like to take ourselves too serious. And that allows us to have a personality that comes to life uh, through humor. And so we did a series of parodies and content pieces that not only millennial males wanted to watch, but they wanted to share. They wanted to, uh, see the next one. They wanted to uh, sign up uh, to Toasty TV and, and have us talk to them more often. So it helped build our database as well as get them to spend more time with the brand. We 
we launched it with a series of parody videos. So if you were to go to Toasty TV, you know, www.toasty.tv, you're going to see anything from House of House of uh, Thrones, which is a parody of House of Cards and Game of Thrones, where the two worlds collide and uh, basically uh, set to the, you know, the comedy that comes through uh, only that uh, situation. But what we found was we've had almost 3 million views on that and people were organically sharing and spending time with our brand. But most importantly, they were seeking out our brand. And so we saw a spike in a trend go to our store locator at Quiznos.com. We saw an increase of coupons that were downloaded. And uh, we just really feel that telling a story and getting people to spend time with our brand outside of our stores and getting them closer to Quiznos.com and our apps uh, through the power of video and content is, is really essential to um, our marketing strategy. So it's from the standpoint of software platforms and, and you mentioned apps and you being connected and having that connectivity on your mobile to be able to order food or, or decide in advance what you want. I mean, we're always thinking ahead and, and especially when you think of millennials that, that you're trying to reach in younger generation, talk about your app. How did you go about um, building it? What were some of your biggest challenges? Obviously, some of you know, we have a fantastic online loyalty app called Toasty Points. Toasty Points uh, is a pretty sophisticated loyalty program, not sophisticated to our end user. It's simple, it's easy to use, it downloads, and what they're able to do is, one, find stores, find your nearest Quiznos, Two, they're able to uh, go into a Quiznos and get points for anything they order to earn more uh, points. Uh, they can also uh, now order online. So uh, we are seeing our online orders literally peak to a point where they've never been now that we've integrated online ordering into our loyalty app. And this has really come uh, through really a lot of in-store promotion as well as targeting uh, consumers near our stores and only near our stores. And, you know, we really see the future of, of online ordering, third-party delivery. So many things are changing at such a rapid rate for even something as simple as a sandwich business uh, that this is probably our most important tool today and moving into the future. How are you encouraging downloads? How are you marketing the app to reach specifically millennials or really anybody that's, that's helping that usage? Well, I think it all comes down to our product, right? Uh, you know, the sandwich that's behind me uh, makes people hungry. And so what we do is we incentivize, you know, give incentives to download the app and you get a free, free sub. And we're really able to use that in various platforms, whether it's through public relations to mention and get our loyalty app in the conversation, like just for downloading and coming into Quiznos, you get a free, free sub. So nothing's better than a free sub to someone who loves Quiznos. Uh, so that's the first step. Uh, there are a lot of things that we do to incentivize loyalty members as they're already in the program. And that's probably the most important thing. It's, it's one, building that database, but second, using that database to our advantage. And we've been able to do some just fantastic things by now knowing our customers and seeing what they're doing real time. And that's the, the power of what we're getting from the cloud is being able to have dashboards through our partner, which is Punch as our loyalty program, be able to see what promotions are working. Just recently, September was National Chicken Month. So we have four really fantastic chicken subs on our menu. We celebrated that through promoting it on our loyalty program. And what we're able to see is that it actually works. We're able to see and, and target and pinpoint customers that have come in and had chicken subs in the past or even lapsed customers that haven't been in for a while. Let's bring them in with double points, triple points, and things that give them incentive to come in and try the product and we saw spikes on each and every one of those sandwiches on the weeks that we uh, promoted the four different sandwiches. So the power that we are getting through the insights that we're able to gather real time has just really transformed the way we're doing business from one year ago, two years ago, and all the way back to when I started over 10 years ago, the game has really changed. You know, you know I, I will not understate the importance of loyalty and retention. Uh, especially when it comes to such a competitive landscape that you're working at and, you know, kind of quick, fast sandwich food. Uh, right. There's, there's a lot of competition, but you know, again, how do you get the, the, the new acquisition, the new millennial, the new younger audience that is that coming through social media? Is it coming through Snapchat? Is it uh, some other type of, of product or service that you're getting in front of them? There, there's probably the right answer is probably not one 
tactic. Uh, it's a combination of all of them. So it's, it's utilizing Snapchat. It's utilizing social media. And it's, very, it's targeting near our restaurants. So while we're all across the United States and throughout Canada, it's really important that we're, we're buying our advertising at the store level. And we've really seen success with that. But yes, targeting millennials with Instagram. We have a strong Instagram account. Uh, Facebook retargeting, giving our franchise owners the power to to activate Facebook pages on their own, to spend on their own, and really get to be part of their community through Facebook. So we've seen great success with that over the last you know eighteen months to two years. How are you using technology to hire employees? You know, to to get new staff. Is that up to the franchise franchise owner? Are you affiliate assist? Uh, are you facilitating that in some way? What we're doing is we're providing them with tools. Each franchise owner owns their own store. What we do is we provide uh, instructions. And Facebook has actually been one of the best tools for that. So, hey, you're having trouble hiring. Here are you know, six tips on um, using your Facebook local page to get out in your community for a really cost-effective uh, amount of dollars uh, to really kind of jumpstart that. And we've seen great success with that. Uh, to just give our franchise owners the tools they need to, um, you know, go out and put a, we're now hiring. And here's why you want to work for Quiznos. Be part of the family. As, you know, somebody who's been in the industry for a long time, you've uh, been, as you pointed out uh, to me, I don't know if it was before that we started, but uh, 10 years you've been at Quiznos. So as a leader and somebody, you know, in charge of such a, the efforts of a, such a big brand and such a broad brand, what are some of the biggest challenges you have today that you didn't see coming maybe before? I, I think some of the challenges uh, really point back to where's the business going. Uh, the challenges are trying to keep up with where are we going to be six months from now, 12 months from now, 18 months from now. You know, one of the biggest areas is, uh, third-party delivery is, is blowing up. And you see everyone from McDonald's to uh, every sandwich shop getting into third-party delivery and having people like Uber Eats and Grubhub be part of that, that mix and getting to consumers. So understanding where it's going to be with Amazon getting in the mix and all the different players, uh, you know, it changes weekly. If you were to talk to me three months ago, the story was different. So um, understanding where the future is going to be uh, with that as well as understanding how technology really works itself into the restaurant. You know, uh, should we be experimenting more with kiosks and, and millennials having more comfort with ordering through a keypad versus talking to a human being? And so exploring and understanding what, what is going to change with our consumer and their behaviors and making sure that we're, we're part of that solution and we can be easy for them to use. Well, all I know is I now want a Quiznos. <laughs> Fantastic. I want something toasty. Well, I really appreciate you giving us some insight about how your business is evolving and that we'd love to continue to follow you and what you're doing. How, how, come, how might we do that? How would you do that? Yes. Well, definitely go to Quiznos.com. You can see many of our promotions. I would encourage you to get uh, the loyalty app downloaded and we can start sending you messages. But uh, and we, of course, have fun video content uh, to check out on Toasty TV, which is www.toasty.tv. Thanks for joining us, Chris. We really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, Tanya. And I'm Tanya Hall with ZDNet and Tech Republic for our insights on digital transformation. 